Even if you want to stop, remember I'm begging you. For the love of a brother, I beg you, like my mother will beg you for the love of her son. Please do not stop until justice is served. Thank you very much. So for those of you who don't know the story of Chijoke, I'm just going to tell you what happened quickly. So Chijoke was 20 years old in 2012 and he went for a child dedication. He was picked up there and he was taken, he was allegedly taken to SAR's office. When his family went to look for him, they were told that he had been taken to the headquarters. They went there to find him. His mother spotted him being brought into the station and she said, that's my child. And the officer in charge of that station, the notorious Nwanfo, asked them to boot her and the family out of the premises and then they were pushed out. Since then, they haven't seen Shijoke again. The next time they went, the officer Wanfo boasted that he killed, he shot Chijoke, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. They searched for him, and then some other officers told the parents that it's possible he hasn't died, that the man could just be bluffing. They should bring some money to bribe him. The father brought some money. The officer said the money was too small. The father went, sold his land, sold some properties, raised three million, gave it to the man. The man said three million was chicken change. And the most horrifying part of this story, if you are a parent, that man, CSP Wafo, made Chijoke's dad to, to look for Chijoke's body in a river of dead bodies. He made him turn every single corpse upside down, searching for his son. I can't imagine what that man was going through. One part of him would think, let me find this body so that we can have closure. Another part of him would think, let me not find this body so that we can have hope. This is the impunity with which officers have treated us. They came to Abuja to seek justice. The state CID told them they would have to pay money to transport others down to the state where it happened to investigate. We have no system. We cannot get tired. Are you tired? No! Are you tired? No! I'm close to tired. No! I am not tired. I am enraged. I am angry. I am sad. But I am definitely not tired. And we will not be tired until we get justice for Chicho King, for Tony, for Tina, for Kolade, for everybody that has fallen, for the survivors, for Adenike, who is in a wheelchair and has been in a wheelchair for 24 years. Because at age 15, the car she was in was sprayed by bullets, by SARS official. They didn't end it there. They intimidated her and tried to kill her on her hospital bed just so that she would not share her story. But she is alive today and she's sharing her story. And these stories will be the last. They will be the last. Are you tired? Are you tired? We can't be tired. Thank you.